Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. Today I have a smoked ghost pepper sauce to review for you guys. Now this is another one from Jason's Fire Fusions uh, from Jason Drewer. Now he is located down in Tampa, Florida. Now he did send me all five of his sauces. I have reviewed three of them already. And uh, But when he sent me the uh, package uh, originally, this one that I'm going to be reviewing today was busted open so I couldn't review it. So he was kind enough to send me another one. Now this happens to be his best seller and his most popular sauce. And this one is called Pirate's Ghost from Jason's Fire Fusions. There's a uh, caricature of uh, Jason right there on the label with his beard on fire. Now I've just really been impressed with Jason's uh, hot sauces. They're vinegar based uh, pepper sauces. Very flavorful. He knows how to really blend uh, super hot peppers, mild peppers with herbs and spices and vinegar that just are really, really delicious. So uh, make sure you check out some of my earlier reviews if you haven't already. But let's go ahead and read the side of the bottle on this one. It says, handcrafted in Tampa, Florida. Just like a pirate's life, this Tampa-inspired sauce is filled with lots of smoke and the taste of rum. If that wasn't enough, we threw in some Caribbean herbs and spices to make this sauce the complete pirate experience. We made the sauce with just enough hickory smoked ghost peppers for a nice burn without overpowering the complex mix of flavors of this savory sauce. This wonderfully smoked sauce tastes great on just about everything. I wouldn't put my name and face on the bottle if I, if I didn't think it was awesome. All right. Now the sodium on this is only 30 milligrams. And now Jason was telling me that he smoked the ghost peppers along with red bell peppers over hickory for six hours. So that's just awesome. And also made with roasted garlic. But here's the ingredients. Uh, vinegar, peppers, tomato paste, fresh garlic, fresh carrots, rum extract, sea salt, Worcestershire sauce, uh, contains anchovies, xanthan gum, onion powder, spices, and fresh herbs. Now um, the consistency on this one is pretty much the same as his other sauces. This one, it looks like you can see some uh, spices in there, possibly some black pepper, but uh, it's got a nice consistency. You can just see that it leaves a um, uh, spices there on the neck of the bottle as you uh, let it fall down. But let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Now this, guys, is where it just is amazing because you just get a wonderful blast of fresh, natural hickory smoke. This stuff is amazing. Now I can tell Jason that uh, you going through that process of whatever you did uh, of smoking these things, it is worth it because you just get a really nice smoky aroma. I believe, um, not too much, but I believe I can kind of pick up a little bit on that rum extract. It's not overpowering. Actually, it's not quite as, um, as a rummy, if I can say it that way, is what I would... Uh, Kind of liked it to be, but um, it's there. But yeah, just an awesome uh, aroma of smoke. So let's go ahead and um, do a taste test for you guys. Look at that, pours really nicely. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow, this stuff is amazing. Now he does have a rated up. Uh, Two out of five for heat. This is one of his milder sauces. Um, I think this is third in line uh, with his, um, his sauces. Uh, but just a wonderful flavor. If you love a smoked pepper sauce, this stuff is outstanding. You get the smoked peppers. You get the um, just a, a little bit of that rum extract flavor. You can tell it's there. You can t you can get the savoriness of the uh, the garlic and the onions that are in here. And then the uh, Worcestershire sauce, I love that. Uh, it's just giving it just a little bit of extra richness and just a slight sweetness, but not, not too much at all. Salted perfectly, it's not vinegary at all, but this is a, um, if you love a smoked hot sauce, this is highly recommended. This is awesome. And I just knew this would this belonged on some pulled pork, so that's exactly what I did. So here in the Carolinas, here's a picture of some pulled pork, uh, Carolina style. Uh, sandwiches with uh, complete with uh, coleslaw on there. I use this sauce to uh, uh, to blend in with the pork, and let me tell you, it was just incredible, just fantastic. Um, this is good on everything. Just put it straight on your eggs in the morning. Put it on grilled chicken. 
hamburgers, uh, but pulled pork especially. This stuff is incredible. Um, Jason, awesome job on this one. This one deserves a 10 out of 10 for flavor. Uh, just it is that good, guys. If you love a natural smoked hot sauce with extreme flavor, the ghost pepper burn is not extreme. It's definitely on the mild side. Um, I think I would have to put this at about a, um, this is in the three to four category. Um, I'll give it a three out of 10. It's not very spicy at all. Just a nice kind of a, uh, a warm glow uh, from the ghost peppers. Uh, you can tell they're there, but it is not blistering hot at all. Definitely lower than medium on my one to 10 scale, but just a, a wonderful flavor on this one. Highly recommend it. Make sure you check this stuff out. Stay tuned for my next review uh, for his instant death which will be the hottest in his lineup. Give him a like on Facebook at uh, Jason's Fire Fusions. And the website simply is jasonsfirefusions.com. Link will be down in the description. All right, thank you, Jason, for sending it. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.